Good morning from beautiful Marco Island. Ryan and I just finished up our trip at Disney with Emily and we drove on over to Marco Island. We're gonna be here for three nights and I am so excited. This is such a nostalgic place for me. I used to come to Marco Island when I was a kid with my family and last summer I got to share it with Ryan. I brought him and it was so lovely that we just decided to come back. We just wanna relax, lay at the beach all day, especially after running around Disney. I grew up in Miami, so you know, near the beach but near a lot of packed beaches. So I really love how Marco Island is just very peaceful, very quiet. Quiet. We're staying at the Hilton. We stayed at the Hilton last time too. It's awesome because we rack up those honors points. When you stay at the one in Marco Island, you also get beach chairs and an umbrella reserved, which is so nice. You don't have to like fight people to get a spot on the beach. So we're just gonna hang out, rest, and relax today. Feel free to join us. We've got our umbrella and our chairs set up and this is our view. This setup is perfect for us because I love to be in the sun and Ryan loves to be in the shade. I am going to take a dip in the water. Ryan doesn't love the ocean so I just go and swim in there by myself. What I love about Florida Ocean like, compared to like New Jersey, New York, it is freezing there. Here in the summer when you go swimming, it's like bath water. It's so warm and I'm so excited to just like freeze up in there. All right, gonna do a little what's in my beach bag. I love bringing bags to the beach. They are just such a great material. You can fold them up and throw them in your bag so easily and they're so easy to wash the sand off of. So start, <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram or you know me, you know that I love a bag within a bag within a bag. Um, so here is bag number one. I'd say this is priority bag for the beach. We've got two travel size sunscreens. I've been loving Sunbum, especially this one. It is so easy. It's like a roller ball. It's so easy to put on. Ryan always gets burned in the back of his neck, but whenever we put this on, it is perfect. He doesn't get burned at all. I have this, I finally got the Touchland like spritz hand sanitizer. It smells like watermelon. Honestly, it smells really good. I use the Summer Fridays Shade Drops. This is my daily sunscreen that I put on and it's kind of got, I don't know if you guys can see, like a sheen to it, so I really like it. I always, always, always bring Mega Babe. This is something that I bring to Disney, the beach, truly anywhere in the summer, it is for chafing, so I just put this in in between my thighs, and it really helps keep things like smooth and no burn. I love this Sol de Janeiro, Sol de Janeiro. Um, it smells so good. This is the vanilla and macadamia nut one and I just love to spritz it when I start to get sweaty out here. I bring this for my glasses. I don't like to wear contacts so I go into the ocean with my glasses and I'll just like wash these, use this to wash them off after. I have my tried and true aquaphor chapstick. Always bring a claw clip to put my hair up. And then I also have this Sunbum one, which is an SPF chapstick. Next up, I always bring this big boy. <laughs> um, so I got this actually on my solo trip to Italy um, on the Cinque Terre, like trekking like, on the hike. I got it as like a souvenir. It's like a really large hydro flask. Um, it fits so much and it keeps everything so cold. I always bring snacks, this time goldfish. I love goldfish. We tried these Megabytes like cheddar jalapeno ones and they're actually fantastic, so great snack. I also have my Kindle in here. I'm not a big reader. In an attempt to read more, I got this for myself for Christmas. I'm currently reading Something Blue, if you've ever seen the movie Something Borrowed. I love rom-coms. Something Borrowed is one of my favorite ones. So that's what I'm reading through right now. I have this cute little pop socket on the back. Keeping up with the bag within a bag, I have this mini pouch. And in here, I just have like our hotel room keys, some cash, um, and my ID and card as well. And that's it. Like I said, these are so easy to just, you can fold them nicely. I just crumble them up and like throw them inside of my bag. They're so easy to clean. It is noon. We had an early start at the beach, so we just left to take a break to pick up our lunch. We're gonna head to Publix to get some pub subs and some fruit and just like other snacks to have. 
We got some lime water from the little tower place at the hotel that is extremely refreshing. Okay, we made it back to the hotel. We were fighting for our lives in this Florida heat, bringing up all of the bags. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. Something about me, I love grocery shopping. Like I love shopping at all capacities. Ryan can attest to that, but <laughs> I specifically love grocery shopping. Um, when we come to Marco Island or for like a beach vacation, I love going out to dinner or stuff like that. But for lunch, I really prefer just like going to Publix, picking up some things, especially since we don't have Publix in New York. Um, so yeah, let's get into what we got. Starting off strong with this Coke that I'm gonna dig into right now. <laughs> Ryan just took a bite of his pub sub. Good? Oh yeah. <laughs> so obviously we got pub subs. If you're not, if you don't have a Publix in your area, Publix, I feel like it's pretty famous for their sandwiches. They're called pub subs or public subs. Um, the chicken tender ones are the famous ones. I'll show you guys a close up of, of the ones that we got. I got these true fruit. We have like a mini, for, it's like a pretty big fridge in our room. So we're just keeping this all in there for today and tomorrow. So we got these true fruit chocolate covered strawberries. It's milk chocolate. These are so good. We got them to try one time and went through the whole bag in like one sitting. <laughs> they are a little expensive. It was like $8 for that small bag, but as a little treat, it's delicious. We got this salsa to me hint of lime chips and salsa on the beach are non-negotiable. It just screams playa to me. So we got the pear. Two of these, I love pistachios and I hate that they're a million dollars, but they were on sale. My roommate, Marilyn, found these. They are, she didn't find them, but she tried them. She found them for our apartment. They are the chili roasted um, pistachios. The brand is wonderful and they are so good. So we got one of those. And then I also got the salt and vinegar ones to try. I love like salt and vinegar chips, nuts, anything like that. And fruit is another non-negotiable for the beach. We got a big pack of green grapes. We got a little thing of watermelon. I love me some watermelon. I got a veggie tray. <laughs> which seems like a tad extra, but I just love a veggie tray. And then we got some sunscreen. I love the smell of Hawaiian Tropic and a large roll of Bounty Favorite Towel, as my abuela calls it, Bounty. I just like to have one of these. It's just easy to, you know, rip them up and use them as napkins or to clean up spills and stuff at the beach. So we are going to dig into our sandwiches now and we'll see you soon. I am sun-kissed so tired it was such a relaxing day we spent like truly the entire day out by the beach or out by the pool relaxing and after the fun but exhausting disney trip that we had i feel like this is exactly what we needed we had a dinner reservation for tonight at oyster society which is a restaurant that i love in marco island but we ended up switching it to tomorrow and we're gonna take today to just relax we're probably gonna put a movie on and just like cuddle up in bed i think we might try this sushi place by here i love that's like our favorite food sushi so we might do some takeout sushi and just get it and like sit on our balcony and watch the sunset by the beach and really just take it slow i think it's so important on vacation I I used to be one of those people that was like, go, go, go. Like I have to get everything done. I have to do everything. And the older that I've gotten, the more that I've been like, I actually have the most fun when I'm just listening to myself and doing what I actually want to be doing, which sometimes is just getting takeout sushi and watching a movie with Ryan in bed. So I am really excited to just like wind down, continue having a lazy day and it's going to be great. Okay, it is day two in beautiful Marco Island. I'm wearing this cute little blue set that I got from Hollister when we went on like a vacation to LA. The curly hair is curling and we are going to head down to the beach. Ryan brought me a pina colada, thank you. Oh, we 
are getting ready to go to dinner, which is why I have all of this on my face. I figured I would show you guys how I get ready and do like really light makeup for when I'm on a beach trip or after a pool day or anything like that. I have the mini version of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And this just adds a little bit of like a sheen to my face. So that is applied. Like I said, I feel like it just adds a nice base and it's not full coverage. Use this as like a little spot corrector on any of the little pimple spots that I have. It's the NARS concealer. I use my fingers for everything when I'm doing just like a natural beach look because I just feel like it melts into my skin better. Next up, we're gonna do my eyebrows. So it's the NYX Brow Glue in clear. It comes with like this little spoolie. And I just comb both of my eyebrows like upwards like that. And then I will just brush them through. And this just kind of helps hold them into place. Okay, now next up is my favorite product for just day to day, and I think it's gonna work great at the beach. So it is this Olio E Oso <laughs> is the brand. This is the shade Ganache Lip Cheek and Lid Balm. So you can basically put it everywhere. I think that the Ganache color is like the perfect shade of what you look like when you're sun-kissed. Don't be scared of <laughs> how it looks right now. I'll be right back. Let me blend. See, I feel like it just adds a nice like glow. I have really dry skin, so I like using more like cream products. Speaking of cream products, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. This is the blush in Glowgasm. I'll just do like a couple dots. Kind of just and then I like to do brown mascara. This is the Dior one in chestnut. Light, light layer. Okay. And then keeping up with just like the natural, natural-ish <laughs> look, I'm gonna use the Benetint. Here's what that looks like. And it's like a lip stain slash cheek stain. You can use the excess on your cheeks. Sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit like spicier, I'll put on this Fenty Heat Beauty in Hot Cherry. I'm gonna put a little bit on. I feel like it just adds a nice like gloss and a little bit of a pop. So I'm gonna get dressed and then I will show you guys the final look. Makeup done. I picked up this dress at Nordstrom and I just love how comfy and flowy it is especially on beach vacations. I don't like to wear pants or shorts or anything. I love like dresses and skirts because you just feel so like beach. <laughs> next day and our last day in Marco so we're gonna drive now to go and meet my family in Miami so this is where we part ways I hope that you guys had a ton of fun like I said Marco Island is just a place that's so nostalgic for me and I really love it so I'm so glad that I got to share it with you guys if you want to see more videos like this make sure that you subscribe and I will see you next time